marathon or half marathon? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying. Onward and upward into the studio talking about the ASICS Meta Racers first impressions not my full review that'll happen after 50 miles Oh, it was cold out today. I'll come back to that in a minute But first before we dive in a tweet came through uh, Last night that connects to the whole discussion about carbon fiber plate racing shoes in 2020 and now in 2021 all right goseki said you know that advantage nike had for these olympics talking about tokyo perhaps the postponement will allow its rivals to catch up thoughts i'll come back to that uh, question in a minute i love that tweet thanks for sending that over goseki okay today's run 13.1 miles half marathon 21k at six minutes a mile or 345 per kilometer. So these are racing shoes. So I wanted to take them up to faster speeds today, managed to do that despite it being absolutely frigid out there. So it's a neutral road racing shoe, very much a road racing shoe. I'll come back to the outsole in a minute. They're gonna be released in Japan. As many of you know, ASICS is a company out of Japan and they're gonna be released in uh, April, I think mid to late April in Japan. And then not until late June in the uh, elsewhere. So in the United States or wherever you're at watching around the world, just so you know, as far as the release date. And I should mention that um, these shoes have kind of flown under the radar with respect to carbon fiber plate shoes out there. Like there hasn't been a ton of buzz about the Meta Racers from ASICS, but you may have remembered Sarah Hall. She runs for ASICS. She's married to Ryan Hall. He used to run for ASICS back in the day, and she ran a 222, all right, that's moving, in Berlin uh, last fall uh, in 2019. So they've been flying under the radar a little bit, but finally we're getting our hands on the ASICS Meta Racer. Now, very interesting, all right? It is a marathon racing shoe. Here we go. 24 millimeter stack height in the heel, 15 in the forefoot. So definitely in the low category for the stack height for that nine millimeter drop. For the weight, we're looking at seven ounces or 186 grams, sorry, 198 grams for men's size nine. And for women's size eight, we're looking at 5.9 ounces or 168 grams. And there it is on your screen in my size, all right? So a, a lightweight shoe, but definitely not the lightest carbon fiber plate shoe on the marketplace at this time. And moving on to the upper in the Meta Racer, it's an engineered mesh, okay? A little bit of that Jacquard, uh, you know, Jacquard, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it, Jacquard uh, design as far as the mesh, how they're sewing it together. It's one piece of mesh, just so you know. And yes, uh, in the toe cap, you can charge up the Meta Racer with your iPhone charger if you would like, just like that. And you can boost up the uh, energy boost that you get. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But literally, they put in a hole right at the toe cap there to help with breathability in this shoe. It's insane, everybody, uh, that there's a hole. It's so funny. It's, it's literally the perfect, the exact right size for your iPhone cable. But no, on all, on a serious note, my, my toes were absolutely freezing today. 
Uh, so that tells me that in hot weather racing, which hopefully this uh, summer at some point, we're all gonna be racing in hot weather. I cannot wait uh, that this shoe would be great for racing in hotter temperatures because the breathability really was uh, on point today. And for the rest of the upper, not much else to, to talk about, okay? You know, your heel counter, pretty standard heel counter. Uh, it's got some flexibility to it. A little bit of cushion through that heel counter, but not too, too much. Um, and the tongue is a very, very thin tongue. And as far as lacing, um, you know, nothing, no, no major positive, no major drawback on my first run as far as the tongue goes. For that midsole, we've got the flight foam midsole. All right, the white there on the shoe, that's a flight foam midsole. And then also it's got the guide sole technology that you will also, so if you love the glide ride, that also has that guide sole technology to help with your ankle flexion. Um, well, sorry, help to reduce your ankle flexion which is supposed to help save your calves especially. So if you like that guide sole technology that you find in the Glide Ride and the Evo Ride, it's also being put into this Meta Racer uh, from ASICS. And of course that carbon fiber plate is somewhere inside that, uh, that midsole foam. Who knows, uh, I haven't seen any pictures of what the actual carbon fiber plate, like the shape of it inside, who knows? I don't know. Maybe somebody will cut this shoe open. I'm not sure. I am not planning to cut this shoe open anytime soon. And on to that outsole, okay? The bottom of the shoe, it is smooth as butter. One of the smoothest outsoles that I've run in almost ever. I'm talking very, very smooth. In fact, crossing the bridges today was a little precarious out there. I had to be very careful because they were slick. They were iced over. It was a little crazy. So on wet, wet roads, sharp corners, I'm guessing you're gonna have to think a little bit on sharp corners in this shoe. Um, yeah, anyway, but there, it is a, an outsole that has a lot of rubber. Now, I will, I guess I'll just jump into it right now. I think as far as the weight goes for the Meta Racer, I think they could reduce the amount of rubber on this outsole and even reduce the thickness, okay? It's not, I, it's okay, I'm gonna eyeball it here. I'm guessing it's one and, a, one and a half millimeter thickness on the outsole rubber. Maybe they could drop that down to a half a millimeter. I know that's not much. It just appears right now to be too much rubber on the outsole and to help reduce the weight of the shoe, especially since it's a racer. Um, and or just like take out some of the rubber through the midfoot um, and just have it on the under the forefoot. I don't know. I'm thinking it's uh, it's just a little much. Now the heel is exposed there. Okay, it has a little bit of exposure there, which I like. And there's a little bit, a slight decoupled groove going, just a little one. But I think they could enhance that as well uh, to help bring the weight down. For the fit on the Meta Racer, went true to size, no issues, uh, and the toe box was was perfect. Like you know, I didn't feel too scrunched. Um, even though I like a, a nice snug fit for racing shoes but it felt good out there. In fact, I, I guess I'll say, if you have a wide forefoot, I think you're gonna be happy with this shoe. If you have a really narrow forefoot, you might wanna test out the shoe uh, before buying in a running shoe store, okay? But overall, pleased with the fit of the shoe. And okay, comfort on the Meta Racer. Nothing screaming out. Now it's a racer though. I'm not really concerned about too, too much comfort when it comes to racing shoes. So, you know, like I already mentioned with the with the uh, the tongue of the shoe and even through the midsole, like um, it wasn't extra cushioned. You know, again, going back to that 24 and 15 stack height, it's just not a lot of cushion underfoot. So, oh, I will say if you enjoy ground contact feel uh, in racing shoes, boom. Um, I think this is the shoe for you as far as uh, racing on the roads in 2020. Uh, okay, let's jump into the positive and drawbacks because I gotta be careful what I say here. Positives is that, or my positive is that I felt, it felt easy to get up on my forefoot through the gates, through the gate cycle and, and the foot strike. Like if I wanted to just, you know, mentally say, okay, we're gonna get up on my toes now and kind of go a little, go a little faster here. It was easy to do that. Now, my drawback is that uh, for the stack height and the weight, I think this shoe should be lighter. 
and probably significantly lighter considering that you're only you're only working with for a marathon racing shoe maybe i'll come i'll come back to that in a minute i think that that stack height you know most marathon racing shoes these days are at least 30 millimeters in the heel okay and we're looking at 24 but the weight of this shoe should be lower considering there's less midsole uh, foam to work with there, that flight foam to work with. So that is my major drawback. And uh, yeah, so I just want to put that out there right now. Now my durability prediction, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 200 miles as far as still getting some good oomph. Now, who knows? This is a brand new shoe. That's totally a prediction. Uh, and again, we don't know what the carbon fiber plate really looks like in there. So you know, as far as the resiliency of that material, we just have to we're just gonna have to test it out for all of you. So stay tuned as I continue to test the Meta Racer. Now the big question. Oh Nelly, here we go. And it connects to the title of this vlog. How will I use the Meta Racer moving forward? Marathon or half marathon? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sensing half marathon in a big, big way. Mmm, breaks my heart. Breaks my heart, ASICs. I love you, ASICs, but I'm just sensing that. Now, listen, I also was thinking out there on the run today, like, this almost feels like a 10K shoe. Yeah, 10K on the roads. Now, for a 10K personally, I'd like to go in my weight um, low five ounces. Low, f And this is at 6.3. So I'd like at least an ounce to be dropped for a 10K shoe. So I'm just like, a little perplexed. I just don't know if I would be taking this amount of stack height to the marathon distance. Ugh. I hate to break, I hate to break hearts out there, but that's the, that, and now again, first run, we'll keep testing for all of you. Um, now, who is this shoe best for? Again, someone who loves ground contact feel and someone who prefers lower stack heights. Like you don't wanna feel wobbly out there on in your racing, whether it's marathon or half marathon, rolling, you know, rolling an ankle in the alpha flies from Nike isn't completely out of the uh, question. Like that, that stack height is pretty high. So um, lower stack height folks and people that like more ground contact feel. That is who this shoe is best for. Now, now rumor has it, we're looking at a $200 price tag. Mmm, $200. Okay, it's way better than 200 and what, $75 for the Alpha Fly. But um, Adidas, right? Adidas is coming out with their carbon fiber plate shoe Rumor has it for Adidas is going to be 180, maybe 175, I believe I saw. So 200, we shall see. Um, again, I just need to be, do more testing, but for if it ends up being a half marathon shoe more so, I don't know if I like the $200 price tag. Now back to that tweet from last night and the question of the day. Here we go. You know that advantage Nike had for these Olympics. Perhaps the postponement will allow its rivals to catch up thoughts so here are my thoughts is that and yes that is the question of the day again for everyone else my thoughts are that a hundred percent i think this is a game changer uh for everyone all the running shoe companies to come up with more innovation in the next 365 days again for asics maybe bump up the stack height a little bit drop the weight down and for everyone out there to innovate in the next uh in the next year in fact I'm just going to say, I think the Alpha Flies are going to be kind of old news in a year from now. That's just how running shoe companies work. Like they're always innovating. In fact, I guarantee Nike is developing, like they're already developing the next Alpha Fly. They've been doing that for a lot. Like that's how the supply chain works. It takes, a, it takes from what I've read, 12 to 18 months of uh, planning and then um, gathering the right materials and then actual production in the factories and then ship like it's a huge production process so I think this is a game changer the the fact that the timeline has changed what are your thoughts how does this impact carbon fiber plate marathon hmm, maybe marathon racing shoes for Tokyo 2021 this is gonna be a fun discussion down below thanks for being here thanks for watching there you go I love y'all. Another day in the books. Stay strong out there. Stay stay warm. Stay safe. And we're going to get through this together. All right, we're going to toss it back to the Asics running shoe playlist, which the Meta Racer will end up in uh, tonight. So there you go, the Asics running shoe playlist right there in case you want to dive more into the glide ride, 
the Evo Ride, all of the ASICs, the Nova Blast right there. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.